everyone and welcome to the squadron or grand company update for the legend returns so reason why out here is first of all i want to quickly show off some of the new items that have been added so there's a bunch of different things that have been added like delicious cockatrice meatballs but the main things that people are going to be interested in is these two which i can't afford because i wasn't smart enough to save up beforehand uh, what do we have as well? We have these, which is kind of interesting, but given how close I am to the etherite, I'm not sure here that's essentially useful at all. Um, I'm just, I can't remember off the top yet everything that's new. I know that one interesting new thing is that glamour prisms have been added, and they're very cheap. So if you don't know how to make them, or you just don't want to spend the amount that it costs in the market board this is a really good place to go so knowing that let's get straight in here and take a look at the new but well, new dungeon running I suppose greetings commander the squadron is eager to receive your next orders new missions We've received a missive from the Hall of Flames regarding your performance, uh, if you'll permit me. For ongoing excellence in the Adventure Squadron Initiative, Lieutenant Balius' squadron is hereby granted authorization to undertake command missions, effective immediately. New Adventure Squadron missions available! Well, an expansion of our sphere of activity. This is proof positive of the company's faith in us, Commander. Conversely, it also means that expeditions run higher. That's expectations, not expeditions. Let us set about our task with renewed vigor and continue on our exemplary course. You now have access to command missions. These duties put you at the head of a four-man unit, yourself and three soldiers for a foray into an instance dungeon. Command missions may be undertaken by speaking with the squadron sergeant. Successful com completion may yield unique rewards. If you wish to know more, please refer to the squadron guide. Sure. Yeah, inactive chemistry, not important. Uh, let's see. So, it sinks you down as you'd expect. Well, I guess we could, or go to Wanderer's Palace, which I've done a million times. Let's see who we've got. We've got, you have to have a full party, obviously, so we need a healer, and we need a tank, so let's go for you, and we need one DPS, and I am going to pick you, because when above level 50, tap in uh, ability is increased by 10%. Obviously, you're not 50 yet, but that's an interesting ability to have. So, why not? I mean, it's not the one that I'd pick. I would have probably pick something else, but wouldn't go for that. And actually, while I remember, well, not to check to see. Outfit. Yes, you can only get it at level 51, so you need to at least level up everyone once. But you can now glamour your companions. And change class, but that's going to lower the level, we don't want to do that. And you can display orders, but can't change them yet either. I wonder if they have to be unlocked. But they have mastery, so they get better. Interesting. Anywho, let's do one quick run. Should we go for an easy one or a hard one? Well, you know what? I'm going to go for the easy one. Just because it's a lower one. Uh, well, or rather, it's the first one. So... We can do, do them in order and we can see if we're getting a unique item from it. So, we need a healer, tank, and DPS. Awesome. 
Let's do this. Halatala la la la. Halatali. Halatalali. A lot, a lot. So this, I believe, will be kind of useful for lev leveling up lower level classes. But at the same time, I don't know. Oh, I like that. That's actually quite handy. All right, I get how that works. Don't want that. Let's get Carby out. Uh, let's go for it. I don't quite like that they follow you when really it should be the tank that's leading. But... Engage. So, you know how this dungeon works. We're just basically gonna get a look at... Oh god, I don't even have Vesta. Yeah, we're gonna have a look at how the party performs overall. So we've got the healer DPS in. Ooh. It, it, it is very interesting. I'm not 100% sure really why it's so limited. Alright, let's make sure we we'll go the right way. Which should be that way. Right? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've been in here. Ah, uh, let's try this way. Do, 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 do. So yeah, you can either press the button or you can just actively run into them and make them angry. I am intrigued as to how the party does. As you can see, I'm not really doing much because I'm intrigued. You're not doing a great job of holding the hate on that though, which is kind of worrying. Still after me? Nope. Good. Ugh. Don't want bomb ash. So, yeah, they're doing a pretty good job. I mean, it is, like, basic AI stuff, but... They're doing a good job, regardless of the fact that I'm not helping them. I wonder if... I don't think there's a way to see what their experience is. Well, that drew the attention anyways. Do, 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 do. So, I know that one of the things that's been added in this patch is that there's a bunch of new emotes. And I have a feeling that you probably get one from each of these quests. Whether or not you get it on your first go, or if it's like a random chance, I guess we'll find that out soon enough. It is kind of a shame that it isn't all of the dungeons. Like, it's a very limited amount. And I'm not entirely sure why. I'm sure there's like, there's gotta be some reasoning behind it, but... It would have just been nice if they just had access to every dungeon. Obviously, they'd have to be limited to level 50 currently, but... I mean, you could always unlock more once they get to higher levels. But I suppose it's meant to be in a way that they aren't really used to dungeon running. 
even though they're level 50. Now this is going to be interesting because this is one of the things that intrigues me about this. In this one, you have to target the lower enemies to mitigate the damage. So how are these guys going to respond? Are they all going to just target the boss? Which way do they come from first? I think it's that way. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. Oh, there's the flame. Ah, and it's that side. Alright, so, Nanasomi should go for them. And there. No, no one going for them. No one at all. Okay. Do, 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 do. I mean, it's not that much damage, so I suppose it's just more work for the healer. Do, 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 do. Yep, no one's going for them. This is the kind of thing that I worry that the squadrons might not be able to do. Oh! Oh my god! You're, you're, wait, what? What? Why? 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 Hmm. They seem a tad confused. There. So don't worry, guys. I'm going to open this just to see if it's the same loot. Uh, oops, wrong one. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same stuff you get normally. So. Into the eth ethereal flow. In fact, I can actually check, because I have the... Well, let's just run into these while I'm checking this. I have the app on my phone, so I can go on the... Final Fantasy Libra Eosia. Come on. That's better. You guys handle them. Alright. I need to be looking in... Items. Oh my god, why are you not act- Are you gonna engage them now? Now that Carbuncle's dead? Armor. Waste. Required level 11 to 20. Yep, Ethereal Voyager's belt. From Halatali. So, all the loot's exactly the same. I just want to make sure of that. So, I suppose it's kind of cool... ...if you wanted to, like, farm some of the dungeon gear. But there's not that much in terms of, like, early game nice dungeon gear. And ironically, one of the nice ones that you can get from the start, all right, from the very first set of dungeons, you can't get from these because they're not included, since Halatali's the first one. Don't care. So for the most part, they're not bad, but I don't know. 
move that down a bit. We'll uh, test out the engaged limit break soon though. But yes, obviously, I'm not going to go through every dungeon with them on video. Unless people really want to see that, then I might do it later. But I want to at least show off just the way that it looks to begin with. We've had a couple of problems, but nothing glaring yet. I mean, the, the thing in that boss fight was kind of worrying, you know, since, well, it was the very first easiest boss, and they kind of struggled on the mechanics. But I, I suppose, in this day and age, you're supposed to just burn that thing down. So maybe the smarter than Ath, I'm giving them credit for. We'll definitely be able to see in the next boss, because the whole point of that is avoidance and staying out of the electric death. Do, 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 do. Why not? I'm going to run forward. Uh, interestingly, they're not following. I wonder if I engage. Ah, uh, they do follow that way. Because one of the things that you see quite a lot is trying to get big pulls to make a dungeon move quicker but when you're not like because I'm obviously playing as the DPS here I could be a healer or I could be a tank if I was playing as the tank well then things would be a bit different because then I could control larger pulls let's see are there any more enemies Nope, no more. I didn't think there was. But I was going to try and see if we could have got a big pull of enemies. Apparently not. There we go. Take out these last couple. Do, 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 do. Alright guys, let's see how you deal with a somewhat more mechanical heavy boss. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drag them into the water to begin with. I don't know why I did that. Let's see. Alright, so they're all in the water. Let's see if they're going to get out when they're supposed to. Doesn't look like they are. Hmm. I mean... Look, electrocution. You want you want to get out of the electric. Uh, can I get them to disengage back here? And then engage on you? Of course Carbuncle just stands in 
the electric water, but whatever. And off you go back into the electric water. I mean, this is something that they're testing out, so it's highly possible that in the future it could be expanded upon. Right now, though, it's a bit... Well, basically every problem is exactly what I was worried about. When things get a bit too mechanical heavy, they don't really know what they're doing. Which is extra reason why I'm surprised that you don't get the first dungeon. Ah, back onto the boss. Do 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 ba ba da da da. Ooh, looks like the sun just came up. All right, let's try this. Can we get them to disengage back here? Then engage this. Carbuncle, you too. Oh my god, they're so terrible. Alright, well, I'll get on your level. So yeah, I can't really see a way around this right now. What? That looked like you just brought that attack to me. It's definitely making the fights take a lot longer than they should be. But... Actually, wait a minute. They're not taking... What? So they don't take negative effects. I only just noticed that. So that means that they can stand in bad mechanics and not be punished. Okay. It's one way of dealing with it, I guess. Bum, 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 bum. And goodness for that. Do, 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 do. And I realise I probably could have used the limit break, but I only just remembered. Alright, into the ethereal floor. We're almost there, guys. I better get a reward at the end of this. A good one. I mean, it's not bad, though. I've seen worse parties. But, at least, if you're leveling up lower level characters, it's not bad. I mean, you have to get all the way to 23 before you can even access this. Like, 23 with a new class using. But, it's still not terrible. There's better ways of doing it. Especially, as I said, given... There's very few dungeons to choose from. And I just realized again, the, the boss for this area, the final boss, is 
quite mechanical heavy as well. Because huh. if I recall correctly, it uses the fire to basically keep itself immortal. Uh, we want to go this way, don't we? I can't remember. Yes, we do. Okay, sure. I thought there was more that we had to do. We literally just fought the last boss. But whatever. Come on. There you are, Tan. Alright. Engage! You know what? Ooh! We have a new limit break! I didn't realize that. Alright. Got. Get out of the fire! I can't do this by myself, guys! Oh, you're learning! Well, you're not, but... Again, though, as long as the healer can keep up with the healing, it's not that bad. It's just, again, going to make things slow. Do, 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 do. I wonder if there's a level 2 limit break. Huh. Da, 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 da. Uh, a single... Okay. Fire Sprite, attack. Right, I'll read this. All of squadron execute a limit break on a single target. Also increases damage dealt by party members. It can only be executed. Limit gauge is level 1 and all three members are... So, is it just... Oh, for goodness sake. Bam, bam, bam. Nanosomi's gonna go down fairly soon. I mean, fair, so am I. Alright. Are you guys alright? <laughs> There, look, I've helped the healer. Well, we might be able to get another limit break off. No, not now. You can actually hurt him now. Kind of cool. Ba 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 ba. Yep, same thing. Just thought I may as well check the final one. All right, let's get out of here and see what happens when we finish. That was a bit messy, but all right. New battle tactic required: offensive. Independent Tactic Mastery 2, now new battle tactic, acquired, balanced, mission complete. Battle tactics govern unit members' behaviour during a command mission. Initially, only the tactic independent is available. 
but more will be learned as you complete missions. Other tactics include offensive, balanced and defensive. Each directs a unit member's behaviour while offering unique and enhancing effects. These effects receive boosts as you complete missions and gain in tactics mastery. Battle tactics can be set ahead of a mission. To do so, speak with the soldier in the barracks and select display orders. And yeah, that's it basically. I think the idea is that you might get, you might get rare drops. I don't think I got anything special off that. In fact, I can check, can't I? Uh, yep, nothing special. All right, so let's go to you. Change class, outfit. You've got three thousand. Oh, so you've got a fair bit of experience to go. So, huh, that's interesting. So obviously that's the DPS one. That's more, that would work for like a healer or a tank. And that one I would say is more tanky. Sure. If I get defensive, I might switch to that. But I don't have that. Who else did we have with us? We had Nanosomi. You just got another level of independent. Ooh, that's quite a big boost. 8%. So you got an extra 4% basically. And you got offensive. Which is a bit odd, given that you're the healer. But I guess it must be just random. And who else did we have with us? Is that it? You, you, you. Yeah, that was it. Did that say that we got... Uh, no, new chemistry. So that's it. So, yeah. I can obviously show off more of them. Nope, 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 don't want to do that, ignore that. <laughs> so yes, obviously there's the thousand moles of Totorak, Brave Phloxus Longstop, which is a good one if you want the unique gear from there. Stone Vigil, which is not bad. I wonder how the cannon boss would go in that, but anywho. And Wanderer's Palace. So these are interesting, though there's not many of them. I must say, but I'm going to be going through this by myself and we'll see how things go. It's definitely interesting and I do like it, but I guess we'll only see. I mean, in terms of experience. You have to spend a bit more, but you're going to level up a lot quicker just doing the level 51 over and over. But I'm not sure if it's going to be a lot harder without getting these up to mastery first. Hmm, that'll be something for us to learn about. So, anywho, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at the new 4.1 Squadron updates. And... If there's anything else interesting, I might do another video. If people really want to see the rest of the dungeons, I'm happy to do that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.